So I think it's very clear that the Canadians are going to get a lot of the Vietnamese cities. And I'm waiting for that breakdown between the Canadian and Filipino alliance because right now they, they both are... They're both are the they really are the only two nations that could possibly win this game. As of now, I mean, we still have a lot to I think we still have a lot left to go, but but who knows. And over the course of the last few turns, the Philippines are now influential with 9 out of the 15 nations that are left in this world. Uh, again, I don't think they're ever going to catch the Canadians. I don't think so, especially because as they pick up more cities, their culture per turn is only going to grow, and it's going to get harder and harder. So it might be a stalemate. It's going to be really interesting to see exactly uh, how this plays out. Now Canada's a little bit higher. It's going to take them 103 turns for influence right now, and obviously there's going to be technologies at the end of the game that's going to improve this time, but I, I, I don't know. I don't know. And the diplomatic victory for Canada, in turn, is still up in the air, up in the air. so... It, 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 there's still an opportunity here. Definitely there's an opportunity for maybe, I know that maybe it being, this is like wishful thinking, I guess you could say, but there's really still an opportunity for the Eastern nations to get back into this. I think the Eastern nations could possibly get back into this, but they've got to take some people over. Someone's got to just start rolling over all these cities uh, or else it's going to be too late for them. So really briefly, let's go ahead and check the info addicts real quick. Uh, it's been a while since we checked on this. Population, again, almost double the population the Philippines uh, have uh, under their empire. Crop yields, Philippines and Canada, it's pretty much one, two. And then it's actually three as well. Manufactured goods, Vietnam is, is three around there. Uh, but I'm sure we're going to see Vietnam drop lower and lower. Hungary is third in GNP, but again, Philippines and Canada. Military manpower is still Canada. It's still under Canada's control. Hungary is now number two, though, which is interesting. They're not actually too far behind the Canadian army. And then, of course, you have the, Phil the, the, the Finland, uh, the Finnish Empire. So since these two nations border each other, I'm not sure if they're gearing up for war or if they're going after some weaker nations, but this is their time to strike. These are both eastern nations. Philippines have dropped significantly, I think, uh, in terms of their military power. The Pope also has a pretty big military. It's weird because a lot of the eastern nations have big militaries, um, whereas Afghanistan doesn't. Afghanistan's all the way in 13th, the 13th spot. Pretty crazy. Approval doesn't matter. Literacy doesn't really matter. Social standing. 22. Canada has 22 uh, policies. Happiness. Bulgaria is the happiness because they only have one city. Uh, technologies. Canada is actually... Well, oh, I was going to freak out. I was going to say. Uh, the Philippines are still number one, but Canada is actually two, only two techs behind. Only two techs behind. Vietnam was only three techs behind uh, Canada in second place. Champa are also, also catching up at 52 as well as Hungary in 52. 52 technologies, Belgium in 52, and Afghanistan. So I think that the gap is starting to close. It's starting to close, I think, on the Philippines because there's a lot of other friendly nations that are signing research agreements, and it is helping them, uh, you know, like I said, close the gap. Cities, it's Vietnam, but that's going to drastically change over the course of the next few videos, unless, of course, they let them go. Um, the Philippines are generating still this, the, most, the most amount of science, but um, it's still, still up in the air. Who's going to pass them up? Culture generation is, geez, Philippines are dominating there. Wonder, 17. 17, wow. Total faith, hungry, faith gang, doesn't matter. Influence, yep, Philippines dominating. Great works, great works. Surprisingly enough, it's it's mainly wonders, I think, the Philippines have that are that are making them dominate the in terms of a possible cultural victory because they only have 18 great works, which is crazy. Uh, it's it's a lot of multipliers, I'm assuming, that's, that's helping them out. Trade routes, uh, seven. Canada has most trade routes. I don't know why that's significant. And tourism, 118 compared to the second place, the Pope at 44. Jeez. So anyways, let's see what happens here with Canada. Let's see if Canada takes this. I'm pretty sure the Philippines have no shot. Uh, there, there, I mean, there is one great war infantry. It is possible. It, it might happen. I doubt it. There's no way. They'd have to go to war. They only have really ranged units. Here it is. Another ideology has been chosen. What is it? The Papal State has chosen autocracy. So that's three for autocracy, two for freedom, and two for order. Uh, we'll have to see if it continues to go down straight down the middle. Usually I d it's, it's not very common to see a game go straight down the middle. It's usually between two ideologies. Maybe even I've seen somewhere that are just one. Champ and Finland have signed a research agreement. Okay, so let's watch as uh, I think the Canadians take control of the second Vietnamese city. Boom, Kremlin falling under Lester B. Lester B. Pe Pearson's control. And again, you got to be thinking, what are the Philippines thinking? What are their opinions of Canada just drastically expanding their empire now in the north and to the south? Yeah, I don't, I, I have no idea what they're thinking. I, I, I don't know. As well as I don't think that 
really the Philippines have a chance of, of grabbing another city from Vietnam. And I don't think also the AI is going to give the Vietnamese um, a chance of, of letting go. I don't think that Canada is going to piece them out. I don't think the Philippines are going to piece them out. If anything, the Philippines might, which would be a really big problem for them. That would be really, really bad. But is Canada really going to be able to take control of all these new cities? I don't know. Again, some factors you got to watch out for are still Bulgaria. If you control the, now that Canada's you know bordering these guys, you have to worry about Bulgaria. You have to worry about the Goths. Technically, yeah, they might be you know a little bit behind in technology. Actually, not that far te- behind in technology, because we're all on a Pangaea map. No one falls too far behind, which is kind of cool. I really really like that. Um, I mean, who knows? I mean, if Canada gets caught with their pants down and they get a low, you know, they get low enough in their their army size because of all the cities they try to take from Vietnam then yeah, I, I think that another AI could capitalize. Someone like the Goths, someone like Bulgaria, someone like Afghanistan. Who knows? Uh-oh. Uh, now, are we looking at a world leader proposal now? Yes. I think, yeah, world leader proposal and alternating. So how many votes does... Oh, so he, only has, he only has 16. Still not that significant. So it's... I think we're still a ways away from a possible victory here. No voting... Afghanistan and Belgium signed a research. I'm telling you, Afghanistan is coming for it. They got some money. And they're staying so quiet. Ideology. The Goths have chosen order. Now three for order, three for autocracy. Uh, Afghanistan's got some money, and they're going research agreement after research agreement because they've stayed so peaceful. Really smart move here. Very, very smart move. Now, my biggest fear for Afghanistan is that Philippine, the Philippines end up thinking, okay, Canada's getting a lot of strength. I've got to get my own strength. The only nation for them to declare war on is to go west and, and go after the Afghan capital. Uh, oh, there it goes. Filipinos. The Philippines have given uh, peace to the Vietnamese, and that's a big deal. That's a big deal because, yeah, it pretty much guarantees that Canada will be the only th- the only other nation, I think, that to wipe through. Well, they might not. It's possible for them to not completely wipe through the Vietnamese empire, but it's going to be close. Uh, so obviously Canada remains the host, and they still, they're at 17 now. Now they need, a hun- they need 24 to win, I believe. Let's double check on that. They need, yes, they need 24 to win. So it would be, it would still be a while away. You're looking at maybe, what is it, every 15 turns or something like that, a, world's, a world leader votes, something like that. Maybe 50, 60 returns, I'm thinking. Now this is interesting because the AI isn't focused in on one city. They're going after the biggest population city, which is a tough spot because you also have to be you know, worried about the bombardment from this city. Oh, so a lot of people are giving Vietnam peace. That's two nations so far. So will Canada stop anytime soon? It, it's weird because if you are not rooting for Canada, then you got to hope that they don't. You hope that they continue to throw their, their units at this wall and uh, continue to lose units because Hungary has gotten up. They're, they are going to get, I think, possibly the biggest army in the world here. They might pass up Canada. It's very, very likely. And the Pope are all, they're, they're trying to move over to, the, to, this le, uh, to this region. Let's go ahead and check the info addicts and see exactly where they're at now. Uh, I know that they're losing some things. Boom. Hungary has passed up Canada. So have the Philippines. They haven't been engaging in the battle uh, in Vietnam, Vietnamese territory. And I'm thinking that's why. So maybe the Philippines are trying to uh, just, boom, swoop in for that victory. Swoop in. So, you know, continue to have Canada go on the offensive in the south while the Philippines build, 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 and then boom, strike at Canada at the last second when they're not expecting it. Although Hungary could be thinking about doing the same thing. The Pope could be thinking about doing the same thing. They all border Canada. See, if you're if you're Canada right now, you're in a situation because the Philippines are safe. In their situation, they're in the corner of the map. They don't really have to worry about that many Statue of Liberty by Afghanistan. Oh, man, that's so smart. That is such – they're so smart. Doing some smart stuff over here. Uh, Canada now borders a lot of aggressive nations. uh, Where the Philippines don't. The Philippines do not. So we'll have to wait and see exactly how many units they lose. If they continue to go at at them, and I'm not sure if the AI is really processing this. I don't think they realize, you know, okay, I'm losing a lot of units here. And I border a lot of nations that have a lot of units. And they're not really spending them during war. They're not, you know, they're not losing them because of war. This could be drastic. This could be a definite problem. We'll see. It, it really depends on how long they stay in it. So Philippines have once again grabbed uh, another big project. They completed the World's Fair. That's going to give them 
100% tourism, or 100% increased culture. Uh, I'm sorry, if it was tourism, that would be huge. Uh, it's culture increased by 100% for 20 turns. So pretty much guarantees no one's going to catch them. They're probably going to get a whole much more uh, of social policies. Uh, as for silver, play, as, as for silver or second place, a free social policy, not that big of a deal. And then a golden age for bronze, uh, which Australia got hold of that, as well as Hungary. Molly, surprisingly enough, invested that much to get silver. Good, good for them. Now, did Afghanistan even try for this? It doesn't look like it. Wait, where is Afghanistan? Yes, they did. Is it... Um... Wait a second, did Afghanistan not try? Crumb, Frederick. Yeah, it doesn't... I don't think they did. I have no idea. What is your leader's name, Afghanistan? I apologize. It doesn't look like he was even in the list. Maybe he didn't try at all. Maybe he didn't. I mean, maybe he's focusing on science, which would have been a smart choice. I don't know. He might have been in that list. I might have been spun crack. Who knows? Uh, okay, so a peace deal with the Pope. I think that I think the I think they're going to survive. I think the tribe's going to survive definitely, which is good. I kind of am rooting for them to be honest. I want them to survive. So cool that they can stay up here. They're doing good in population too. I mean, they're not they're not doing too bad. Congo's gifting. Military units to the Philippines. You guys see this stuff? Oh my gosh! Two superhero, su two superpowers, not superheroes. Could be going at war very soon. Could be going to war very soon. Let's see here. Yields. Yeah, they're making so much food. Oh my gosh, so much food out here. As well as you know, they they have their unique tile improvement. That's for granting them culture and food. Uh, Afghanistan have given the Vietnamese peace, and Canada still has yet. I'm thinking we might see a superpower world, a super, what is the term again? Super powerhouses. Two of the biggest nations might go at it, with the Philippines continuing to get more and more of a military, and the, and the Canadians losing more and more of their military, as well as being really expansive. Every time they take one of these cities, they're getting a, a bigger and bigger impact. They're getting a negative modifier to all the other AIs. So it looks like they're going to take something else, unless Hungary grabs it, which I believe Hungary is involved in this war. Not 100% about it, but they might be. The Goths and the Inuit have denounced, so the Goths have denounced the Inuit tribe. Boom, and nope, it's going to Canada, and they're moving on to their next city. Oh my gosh. I don't know how this is going to go. Obviously, if Canada can stay at peace... And not, you know, rock out of control for the next maybe 25 turns, then you can pretty much guarantee their victory. But if, but this is when they are at their weakest right now. They are at a really, really weak point. point. Uh, the Pope has entered the modern era. They're at a very, very weak point in their game. And, uh, and they just border a lot of nations. That's the thing. They border a lot of nations. And, and the Philippines, I don't know if the Philippines understand that the only way I think they're going to be influential with the Canadian Empire is if they actually take over some cities and they take them over almost completely. Almost completely. This is where the Eastern nations can strike, though. I will say if the Eastern nations want to have some sort of a, a part in this game and, and have an impact, this is their chance. This is the Pope and, and Hungary's chance to make an impact. Let's go ahead and double check on the info addicts, see where military manpower is at. Canada's dropped to 6th place under 200,000, while the Philippines are at 300,000. A lot of the Eastern nations are building and building and building. Bigger, bigger militaries. That's what I'm curious about. That's what's fascinating to me. Wow. But they could be going to war against each other. It is possible that that could be the case. Prussia has denounced Canada. Ooh. That's a start. Now, Prussia's not a big empire. Prussia's pretty much a city-state, but it's still a big deal. The Pope has denounced Canada. Ooh, now it's a bigger one because the Pope actually borders uh, Canada. Vietnam, Vietnam has denounced Bulgaria. Yeah, see, the Pope actually borders Canada, so that's the thing. And if they keep taking over cities, I think it might get out of control. And it looks like they will. I don't think they're going to stop there. They realize their strength. They realize they, they need to do this. Maybe Canada, this is Canada's only shot because they think that if they get a whole bunch of new cities, they're going to have more cultural generation and that will prevent a Filipino cultural victory. That is what I'm thinking here. So maybe that's what the AI is processing. I don't know. I have no idea. Let's see if this is a freedom ideology that was chosen. No, it was Molly choosing order. So that's four for order. 
Uh, world ideology as autocracy. Now, who is trying to enact that? Uh, I believe it is. Well, first, I want to see exactly who is uh, following autocracy. So it's actually the Philippines. Oh, that's big. Ooh, that's big. So if Philippines get that, then that means that they're going to take some significant power away from Canada. Canada's at fit. Man, these. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. This is crazy. And then cultural heritage sites, which in turn takes away and makes it harder for the Philippines to get a cultural victory because this is going to generate uh, Canada a lot more culture per turn with plus three in its cities uh, for a world wonder. So, yeah, let's go ahead and double check on the cultural victory standpoint. 11 out of 15. 11 out of 15. Let's go ahead and double check on how they're doing. Oh, we're already on the Philippines. They're actually falling with Canada. That is exactly what I thought. Wowzers. Wow. Um, <laughs> they will become influential for sure with everybody else. They only have one shot here. Uh, they are going to pass up everyone else, the Pope. Vietnam, they're surprisingly still going. They still have to become uh, influential with Vietnam, but you know Canada's kind of doing that job for them. They are slowly philippines have publicly denounced canada i'm so glad i didn't right click that that message i almost did guys i almost did oh geez that was the champa the champa might even try to take this city now how impressive would that be i'd be very impressed really really impressed the goths have denounced hungary now we see a breakdown in the relationship now it's about that time it's turn 290 on immortal difficulty 1840 ad breakdown of relationships completely complete breakdown so we have Mali denouncing Bulgaria and Belgium. Afghan Mali also uh, denouncing Afghanistan. Afghanistan denouncing the Pope. All these denouncements are now starting to just shred the world. It's it's now up to single nations. And the Rio, oh, the Cristo Redentor has been built by the Philippines, of course. Hmm. This is also going to give a lot of culture generation. That, that natural heritage sites is going to give a lot of culture generation for the Philippines as well. But, you know, at this point, they already generate a lot of culture, so it doesn't matter doesn't typically matter to per se. We also need to keep an eye on the science victory, though. Because I could see a stalemate brewing. I could start to see a, a stalemate in the, both the diplomatic categories as well as the cultural victory category. And imagine someone just swoop in. Maybe that will be the deciding factor that nobody's looking at right now. Is the cultural victory. I'm sorry, the science victory. Technologies. It's still under Filipino control. But the Canadians are right, for, right behind as well as Hungary is tied with Canada. Afghanistan is making, <coughs> excuse me, making their way... Uh, closer and closer. That's one of the wonderful things about this campaign is a lot of the nations have stayed around in technology. Yeah, like Bulgaria. Well, Bulgaria is, okay, well, they're not super around, but it's still, I'm, I'm very shocked to see this many uh, so close up to the first place spot. And the Philippines look like they are going to get caught. Because of the trade route system and because everyone is using a Pangea map, everyone is, is pretty much willing to trade with anybody at this point, unless, of course... Uh, which probably the best case scenario right now. Ooh. Ooh, interesting. Uh, that was, uh, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, that's an interesting one. So the Pope has also joined in against uh, Champa. So the Filipinos and, the, and the, the Papal States have decided to join up against the Champa Kingdom. That's a weird one. Hmm, I'm wondering if there's going to be more to that. Finland is a chosen order. Okay. So you have a lot of nations now just backing up order uh, just before autocracy gets voted, before the autocracy vote. Two turns, in fact. Two turns, in fact. And you know Canada's going to you know, use a lot of those votes to downvote that proposal. Okay, so now Belgium has decided to join in. Who else is going to join in? Now, well, Finland joined in. That's the thing. If Finland joins in, then whoa, that's a big one. Uh, also, we have to look at who has a good navy. Belgium doesn't have a bad navy at all, so maybe if they move around Prussian territory, it's possible. I wonder if Prussia is going to join in. I wonder why why Champa though? I guess it's because they were the ones to destroy Iceland. We, that was a pretty significant event for the AI, more than likely. So who controls most of the city states? Still under Canada control. Canadian control, I mean. Prussia's denounced Afghanistan. Australia have denounced Afghanistan. Canada has denounced Australia. Oh, that's a big one. Uh, just because those those people have you know those nations have stayed pretty friendly for you know kind of throughout this campaign, and the papal states have denounced Finland. Anyways, guys, I'm off to stop right there. Things are heating up. Things are totally heating up. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.